So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my first 3D printer, which is called the Ender 3 version 3 SE. And I'm really excited about this machine. This is good for beginners if you want to start 3D printing. Also, I have bought few uh, filaments. Today, I'm going to show you how to unbox this. We're going to uh, connect it and hook it up. Then I'm going to use the Cura software, which allows us to slice the model and print it using this printer. We're going to use this machine a lot in our next projects to create some robots like a robot arm and control it with the Arduino or the ESP32. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. So I'm going to start by opening this box. Here we have the cable to power it up. We have the screen and it's not a touch screen, but it's going to be okay for our uh, 3D printing projects. Next, we have the support of the filament. And here we have the quick installation guide. Basically, it's really easy to hook up. We're going to connect the top part to the base using some screws. Then we're going to attach the ribbon cables so that the printer can uh, control the stepper motors and create whatever you want. Here we have some uh, tools. We can insert an SD card and put the model inside it. Then we have to connect it to the printer so that we can print the 3D model. And here we have the top part and we have the base. This is the bed that we can remove and we can bring it back. Now we'll simply attach the top part to the base. And there you go, we have finished unboxing this printer. I'm gonna remove this paper from the screen. Then we're going to turn it on. First of all, I'm gonna select the language. Of course, I'm gonna use English. And hit enter with the knob. Then we're gonna confirm. Okay. Now it's gonna start using the auto leveling feature. And this is one of the main reasons why I have bought this machine. Make sure to be patient. I think it's gonna take a little bit of time. And once it's done calculating the Z offset and the auto leveling, we can uh, hit confirm to confirm the values. And here we have the interface. It looks great. We can rotate the knob to navigate between these sections like prepare. For the first time, you have to use the extrude feature so that we can insert the filament. Next, we are going to cut the filament at 45 degree angle and insert it into the extruder. So make sure to push this trigger and push it down and there you go we have completed the extrusion and we are ready to print something but first you have to insert the SD card go to the print section by rotating the knob to the left side and hitting enter we have the cat let's hit enter again here we have the option to calibrate the machine before we start printing but we've already done that so I will hit confirm by rotating the knob and enter if this is your first print, don't worry, it's going to take a bit of time. For me, it took about an hour and a half. Now it is going to finish the last layer. So it is building the model or the cat layer by layer. And we're done. And we can print something else. But you will need to use the software, which is called Cura, to convert the 3D objects into EG code that the printer understands. For example, we have this free website, which is called Thingiverse. You could search for whatever you want, like stand, or we can search for a character like Groot. Here we have different options. I like this one. We're going to print it in our next videos. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. So when you open up the SD card from the computer, we have our cat that we have just printed. And we have some other files. We don't need them. First, let's pick up a model. So I want to make stand or a mount for my headphone. I think this one is great. Let's go ahead and download it. It's going to take four seconds. 
it's a zip file that we can extract it using right click extract here we have different elements that we can print as i said we need to convert these objects to uh, some g codes like the one that is under the usb drive here we have cat.gcode to do that we have to download a software here we can download it for free and it's available on mac os windows and linux i have a windows machine let's hit the executable file and once it's done we can install it by double clicking on it we are going to allow the access hit next i agree we're going to leave everything as default and install once it's done we can hit finish also it's going to run automatically first of all we have to set up the printer if you have the ultimaker printer you can select this option but for me i'm going to use the uh, second option because we have a creality under three some of these printers comes with wi-fi capability we can add them uh, to the network add a non-networked uh, printer and here you will find all of the printers that you can imagine for us we are going to search for creality 3d and yeah here we have uh, different options because we have the creality under 3 version 3 se and ke make sure to pick up the right one for me i'm using the se then you can hit add we have all of the printer settings like the bed size it is 222 by 222 and the height is 250 millimeters we can hit next and don't worry this is going to be a beginner guide using the right mouse button we can rotate to pan we use the middle mouse let's talk about the other parameters here we have the nozzle size it's 0.4 millimeters by default also we can change the material i'm using pla so i'm gonna leave it as it is but if you are using a different material we can go under generic we have abs petg for the first time i recommend you to leave all of the parameters as they are now we need to put our 3d model in this workspace so let's get back to the files that we have downloaded we're gonna need few of these because we have two uh, different sizes i'm gonna pick up the headphone holder and the holder screw then we can drag all of them inside the software and it's going to be added like this first we have to separate them because we have to print uh, each of these separately to do that we can pick up one of the models by uh, left clicking and here we can use the uh, values to change the x position or we can use the arrows to move this uh, to the left side also i want to move the second object to the right side and you can look around for the first time you're gonna find three settings only so make sure to select the basic one so that we can tweak some uh, parameters here we have support we can add it to some of the models but this one doesn't require that so i'm gonna leave all of the parameters as they are like the quality so this is the layer height which gonna be 0.2 millimeters if you want more details you can change this to 0.1 but it's going to take a longer time to 3d print this model now we have to convert this to g code to do that we can hit the slice button then we can save the file to uh, the removable disk which is our sd card so here we have the drive g let's double check that under this pc it is called g yeah we can save it to it and there you go it is done we can eject it but before that i want to go to preview so that you can see how the model is 3d printed we have the slider that we can drag so it's gonna print the first layer then it's gonna go to the second one third until we complete all of the uh, 3d parts now let's go ahead and insert the sd card to the 3d printer so that we can print our new object which is the stand by going to the print section and we have the name so make sure to pick up the right one if you have different objects and hit ok the same thing we don't need to calibrate it now it is printing the first layer so it's gonna take about three hours and because i'm so lucky i have run out of filament that's why it doesn't complete this part as i said i'm a little bit lucky because it is still functioning we can rotate the screw and we can fix it so i have decided to uh, 3d print the screw again then we are going to use it to attach the stand to the desk and yep i like this feeling the color is yellow that's the new spool of filament that i have bought and there you go we have a stand and it is working just fine so i hope you have learned something about 3d printing 
If you have any questions or comments, make sure to put them under the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one.